A long time ago, in a kingdom far, far away, lived a king who longed for a child. One day, his wish was granted. The queen gave birth to a baby girl. He named her Aurora. Everyone in the kingdom was forced to stop what they were doing immediately to pay homage to the princess. The king even invited his good friend. Stefan! My friend! King Hubert, I'm so happy you could make it. It's not a hard castle to find. You're still missing the roof. Yes, we have to fix that. Show me the baby. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. She had her mother's eyes. By the way, where is the queen? Unfortunately, she has fallen ill. The nurses say she'll make a full recovery, but we should not try to have any more children. Well, let us just focus on this most joyous day. We can worry about the bad show later. Announcing the three good fairies! My gift is the gift of beauty. Sweet baby, my gift for you will be the gift of intelligence. on the child? No! Listen well, all of you! The princess will grow up with grace and beauty and beloved by all who know her. But before the sun sets on her 19th birthday, the princess, the princess will prick her, her finger, finger on the, on the spindle, spindle of a spinning, of a spinning wheel, wheel and, and die. die.
fairies! Can't you do something about this? There's nothing we can do. Maleficent's magic is far too strong. But you're fairies, and there are three of you. Magic works in complicated ways. But we can help! Meriwether still hasn't given her gift! Please, whatever you can do. Do something! You can do it! Let's see, little baby. If you do prick your finger on a spindle, your life may yet be spared. Upon pricking your finger, you will fall into a deep sleep that'll last forever if not kissed by true love's first kiss before midnight. That night, the king ordered his knights to go hunt down Maleficent, though they would never find her. He also decreed that every spindle in the kingdom must burn on the day of his daughter's birth every year. This would leave people without clothes for several months. There has to be something we can do. I know, we can slaughter Maleficent. <laughs> you know we can't do that, we can only use our powers for good. Now all we have to do is take care of the princess for 19 years and we can take her back. Why do you get to be the man? Because I'm the only one capable of taking care of you all. Yeah, I'm not doing this. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Now we can tell the king my wonderful plan. That night, the fairies took the king's sweet little flower into the forest. her for many years, calling her rose to hide her identity. I specifically 
told you to get pink jars. If you wanted pink jars, you could have gotten them yourself. You need to start acting like a lady. Why don't you go make some for tonight's dinner? Fine. Don't talk to strangers. And don't forget your basket. It's incredible. Almost 19 years have gone by and not a trace of her? Are you sure you searched everywhere? Yes, we searched every house around town. Just this town? Yes, a little town. Just this town for 18 and a half years? Yes. a disgrace to the forces of evil. It's up to you. For the next six months, I want you to search far and wide for that princess. Do not return until you have found her. She will be very beautiful. She'll most likely be with those stupid fairies, wherever they are. Now, go. And if you fail, I will kill you myself!
I beat her. Look at her. She's beautiful. Yes, yes, that's great. I wonder who she is. I'd love to beat her. It's probably just some peasant girl. But don't worry about her. You're already engaged to Aurora. Forget about Aurora. I've never met her. But I'd like to meet her. Where do you think you're going? I'm gonna go meet her. Father would not allow this. I don't care. Don't be ridiculous. Wait. Where is that boy gone? My brother really needs to start acting like a prince. And so, for the next six months, the princess and the prince met each other in secret, unaware of each other's true identities. As more time went by, they slowly began to fall in love with each other. But as the princess's 19th birthday drew nearer, so did the curse that Maleficent placed upon her. She and Philip should be married. Yes, finally. Here, here. I saved a very special bottle of wine for this occasion. Peter, bring me my wine. Peter. Flip! 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 Flip!
be coming off. I'm coming. About time you showed up. years and you're already trying to take her away? Relax, Stefan. She'll be around to visit. Occasionally. I wish to spend more time with my daughter. How dare you threaten me? I declare war on you and your kingdom! <laughs> Flip gone with you. Get out of here. Don't worry. Philip will be back soon. Oh, where is he? He's out in the forest, hunting animals. Oh. But it's your birthday! Save it for tonight. Where? The cottage on the east side of the forest. What are you doing? I'm just spending some time with the girl I'd like to marry. That's not for you to decide. You are to marry Aurora. Yeah, well... We'll see about that. All right, let's get started. Do you have any idea what time it is? We haven't even gotten supplies. I'm gonna use magic and you can't stop me. I think she's right. Fine, but make sure no one's watching.
to get ready. Someone? Yeah, his name is Terrence, and he's so nice. Oh no. What's wrong? You're already engaged. So that's that! I can't marry a prince. I have to be a, a princess. You are, dear. Princess Aurora. We're taking you back to your father, King Stephen, tonight. But I can't leave. I told Terrence that I'd meet him here tonight. I'm sorry, but you can never see him again. We thought you'd be so happy. Announcing their royal, royal highnesses, highnesses Prince, Peter Prince Peter and Prince, and Prince Philip. Philip. Philip! He's here! Where have you been? He's been off with some peasant girl. A peasant girl? You need to get ready. You're getting married. You know, Father, I'm really not into all that stuff. What do you mean, Philip? You need to think about the kingdom. Aurora's gonna be here any minute. You just can't run off with some nobody. Stop talking about this nonsense and come inside. Well? Go stop him! <sighs> it's time, dear. Think about this. It's too late, brother. We're already here. Come Prince 
Philip, you will make a wonderful trophy. Prince Peter, you will make a wonderful feast. Away with them!